When people state they have Jesus in their heart, what do they mean? Are they really feeling this? I believe that a lot of people, because of my first century life, a lot of people feel a deep connection with the struggles that they believe that I experienced in the first century. And for that reason, many people believe they have accepted Jesus into their heart. When I hear people say those words, a lot of the times I realise that it is not me that they've accepted into their heart, but rather a part of God's love that they've accepted into their heart that has softened their heart and helped their heart change. And this is the reality of what it means to receive Christ, to receive God's love to the point where you can become Christ at all at one with God. Many people have received some divine love. In fact, many billions of people on this planet have received divine love at different times in their, in their life on earth. Many just do not know how to do this in an active way or, or in a complete way where they become at one with God. So I do believe many people on the planet have received God's love into their hearts and many people of the planet call that receiving Jesus into their heart. However, when they meet me, they often attack me which would indicate they have not received the true Jesus into their heart because the true Jesus is often standing riding in front of them and he's, they're, they're attacking him. So the reality is they've received some God's, of God's love into their heart and they perceive that th happening through their beliefs in me. Now, it's not their beliefs in me that cause them to receive God's love in their heart. It's their desire for God's love to enter their heart that causes God's love to enter. And, uh, and unfortunately, many people misinterpret that as receiving me into their heart. My suggestion to people is to receive God into their heart, or, or to be more specific, to receive God's love in their heart by opening their heart to all of the reasons why they resist love. And of course, remembering that love is an emotion that is going to mean that the pe people who are receiving God's love into their heart are going to go through emotional experiences when they receive God's love into their heart. And if they do this, it doesn't matter what religion they are on the earth, it doesn't matter if they even have a religion on earth, if they open their heart to God and ask God to receive some love into their hearts from God, God will always do so if God is able to do so through the will of the person. So, so they, I feel, need to remember that. In terms of receiving me into your heart, well, that's a different matter. If, if To truly receive me into your heart, you've got to see me face to face and enjoy my company. And uh, if you do that, then you've received a little bit of me into your heart, just as I've received a little bit of you into mine. Mm -hmm.